is Where the Sea Meets the Sky by Peter Bentley and Rico Sekiguchi. Sea Otter Sophie was out with her mom, snuggled up safely on top of her tom. She gazed through the haze and said by and by, What's at the place where the sea meets the sky? The horizon, you mean, came her mother's reply. No one can reach it and no one should try. You might as well swim to the sun or the moon. Now I'll go catch a fish and be back very soon. But as the mist cleared, Sophie happened to spy a lighthouse that stood where the sea met the sky. That horizon's not far. I think Mum was wrong. I can easily swim there. It won't take me long. She swam to the lighthouse, but saw with dismay that the edge of the sea was still far away. She said to a sunbathing walrus nearby, I'm off to the place where the sea meets the sky. Good luck, yawned the walrus, scratching his nose. I'd much rather lie on this rock for a doze. Sophie swam further, and after a while, she spotted a rather peculiar isle. I found the horizon, she chuckled with glee. That island is right where the sky meets the sea. Then the isle squirted water and flapped a great tail. I'm not the horizon, it laughed. I'm a whale. With a splash, the great whale disappeared from view. Aha! Sophie chuckled. I know what to do. I'll swim underwater and then I can try to sneak up on the place where the sea meets the sky. There were all kinds of creatures under the waves. What fun! Sophie thought as she swam through some caves. She saw thin fish and fat fish and whiskery catfish and slow fish and fast fish and flip floppy flat fish. She laughed at a lobster who nibbled her toes and played with a starfish who danced on her nose. But then all the fish disappeared in a fright. When some great hungry sharks swam into sight. Yikes! Sophie panicked and hastily fled. It's not very safe underwater, she said. Oh, Sophie gasped as she came up for air. That pesky horizon's still way over there. The evening sun was beginning to set. It's late, Sophie thought, but I won't give up yet. Sophie swam on. She swam slower and slower. She watched the red sun sinking lower and lower. She stopped for a rest. She remembered her mum. Then she saw with a gasp just how far she had come. She was tired and alone in the deepening dark. And what was that rumbling? Was it a shark? Then Sophie saw it. What could it be? That great looming shape where the sky met the sea. A monster was coming, massive and vast. Sophie thought, yikes, I'm too tired to swim fast. It was almost upon her. Help, Sophie cried. But sudden, suddenly somebody pulled her aside. The monster sailed past and Sophie soon saw just who had saved her by grabbing her paw. Sophie said, how did you know where to come? I just asked a whale and a walrus, said Mum. They said a brave sea otter came swimming by on her way to the place where the sea meets the sky. And that is the end of Where the Sea Meets the Sky by Peter Bentley and Rico Sekiguchi.